Hey guys, it's Alex Dietrich. Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day. I'm a grad student based out of Munich, Germany, and I'm working on African Drosera. So I'm here in the Southern Highlands of Tanzania looking for a handful of species. Um, so this is five new Drosera from Tanzania. And this is the first one. It's a compact species really closely related to Drosera madagascariensis. And I'm working on a revision of this complex, and this is a really cool addition. There's just a mess of them here in this wetland. I'm at about 2,900 meters, so really high in elevation. And so I'm finding a lot of cool species that I've never seen anywhere else. It's growing with another new one that Looks really similar to a new one that I've seen in Tan or in Zambia, um, a green rosette. There are some differences, so I'm thinking this one might be different. Time will tell, I guess. It's not quite as common as the red one, but there are a handful of them here in this wetland. There's also these giant lobelias which I've never seen before, so that's really cool. These are like an emblem of the East African highlands. And on this side of the wetland, there's just a ton of draws for Madagascariensis. It's really cool how the different species are utilizing different parts of the wetlands. This site is a lot more gentle in slope, so I'm finding a different set of species here. Here's another new one, a large rosetted species. This one's just so cool. Probably my favorite one from this trip. It's the wet season, so things are pretty wet right now. And they get absolutely massive when they're growing this wet. Such a cool species. They're growing with a bunch of Drosera affinis. This is really typical affinis habitat, the margins of these wetlands. A lot of flooded plants here. Lots of draws from Madagascariensis. More of that other new one. Just a mess of draws in here. This is another new one that I came here for. I knew this one from some herbarium specimens. Seems to be a Tanzanian endemic, um, really similar to, to draws from Madagascariensis, but a different leaf shape. This one tends to stay green to bronze rather than red.
And the last one, a Drosera Dilziana relative, also undescribed, this time not in a permanently wet habitat, but a seasonally dry one. Um, so out here on this plateau area. So these guys will go completely dormant during the dry season. Thanks for watching and happy World Carnivorous Plant Day.